Today we are making a video on Lubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster. This is a boot menu of uh, Lunar Lobster uh, Lubuntu. I already made a lot of videos of Ubuntu flavor uh, which is a 23.04 versions, uh, the stable version. This is also the stable version. So let's boot it in a live boot. Uh, this is a stable version if you want to uh, use it or install it on your main PC or a work PC. Uh, there is a tip from me because uh, I don't want you to ruin your PC. First you always boot it in a live boot first and uh, after you are satisfied go with the installation to your main PC or work PC. If you are running on a VMware there is no need to worry. You can do that uh, or you can install it on your PC if you are running it on a VMware. If you are running it on your, uh, if you want to install it on your main PC. It's always a better idea to boot it in a live boot first, uh, run it like uh, 7 to 8 hours after you're satisfied, go with the installation. So I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a, a virtualization which is a VMware with 4 GB of RAM, 80 GB of hard disk with two processors running right now. And uh, Lubuntu take, should take like a maximum of uh, 1 minute or uh, 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout because that's the timing or uh, the usual timing which every Linux distro will take to load up the desktop layout and uh, we should be having our desktop layout so this is a stable version uh, and uh, i already made a lot of videos on the ubuntu flavors i already completed the stable version all uh, flavors so if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel so and i will be posting like a two videos daily without missing any day so i already made a content another video uh, of the Linux distro if you want to watch that also you can watch that after watching this video so here is our desktop layout completely loaded this is a stable version which is a 23.04 lunar lobster the code name is lunar lobster so let me change the display settings because that is a pretty odd preference LXQT settings and uh, you should be seeing a uh, monitor settings I am using a 1920 into 1080 so let me change the 1920 into 1080 resolution click on apply yes and here is our display settings so let's first open the system monitor because we need to see how much uh, resources are consuming before running the so any of uh, any of the application and i'm going to show you the system monitor again at the end of the video after going through all the settings installation all these things you should be having an idea of how much resources are consumed uh, before and after the video right now these are all the system monitor resources as you can see on the top left corner system is a 26 29.6 5.6 percent and memory is almost a 551 mb and catched at uh, 3150 mb i'm using a 4 gb of ram so these are all the resources let's check about the uh, qps 2.6.0 let's uh, even choose the options 3 and thread tree and thread so uptime is a uh, 2 minute uh, almost 3 minutes swap is uh, here memory is here cpu is here these are all the information so let me close this thing and open the terminal uh, before that let's check about LXUT. the version is 1.2.0 Q-Terminal Q-Terminal version is 1.2.0 Let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8 to get all the distro information inxi is not installed if you want to install you can just copy the above copy the selection paste clipboard click on enter I think it's going to take a few seconds I guess click on or type in y to yes y for yes and n for no it's going to install the inxi first and we should be having our uh, full command which is inxi sv8 to grab all the distro information so it's installed let me type in the command which is inxi sv8 and hit enter and here is the full information Preference. Let me try to change the color if it's available. Color scheme Linux, black and white. Uh, you can properly see now. So the system is a Lubuntu 
host is Lubuntu kernel is 6.2.0 which is latest version the latest version is uh, 6.3 in the kernel so which was released like uh, three days ago and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler is not available LXQT version is a 1.2.1 QT version is a 5.15.8 and distro is Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster because it's a flavor of uh, Ubuntu 23.04 Lubuntu is a flavor of Ubuntu so you get the info, uh, name as a Ubuntu 23 here WM open box version is a 3.6.1 and I'm running it on a VMware it says uh, machine is a VMware BIOS Phenomix version will be 6.0.0 and RAM right now is a 942 MB of a 4 GB RAM this is my CPU information if you want you can go through these settings by pausing the video these are the information and uh, display is x11 server x version is a 1.21.1.7 pcom version is a 9.1 these are all the display settings or the available resolutions of the monitor opengl version is a 4.1 mesa is 23.0.2 as you can see pipewire version is a 0.3.65 let's scroll it down it's a 80 GB of hard disk. I choose the 80 GB of hard disk for my virtualization, which is a VMware. So let's scroll it down and uh, let's find out some of the information, which is a uh, INXI version is 3.3.25. Init system D version is 252. Uptime is a uh, four minutes. Processors running right now are 271. Shell bash version is a uh, 5.2.15 or 15. So let's type in the same command. Uh, for example, INXI. And you will be getting some of the same uh, information from the above but in a short form let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital G same information inxi dash small b hit enter these are all the same information uh, as the above one but this is a short form so let's type in another command which is a cat etc issue Ubuntu 23.04 is the base so let's type in NeoFetch if it's available NeoFetch is also available let's type in HStop HStop is also pre-installed here is the RAM here are the CPU tasks are 71 right here we got complete distro information so there is nothing left here so let's close it uh, let me show you the uh, official website of the Lubuntu and uh, I'm going to show you how to download the Lubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster the default web browser for the all uh, Linux distros are like a Firefox sometimes it will be like a Chrome browser sometimes Vivaldi sometimes Falcon but the majority of the Linux distro uses uh, Firefox as the default web browser so about Firefox triple one point zero point one let me type in the search term which is a Lubuntu 23.04 this is the search term you need to type in in your search engine or the uh, web browser I already made a beta version pre-release before uh, in the past days so here is the stable version here are these release note or the few of the information which are uh, changed here uh, all information I already showed the complete information these are the some of the information if you want to check that you can check that they showed install click on install type in install you should be having the same information like this a bug in LXQT result in duplicate menu entries for the Calamaras installer showing the following as you can see there is a duplicate here of both the uh, installation style so these are the uh, information here so I can download it here by clicking on you can download here these are all the available versions there are plenty of uh, versions available here this is the official website of the Lubuntu this is the URL if you want to go to direct uh, download links and it's supported until uh, January 2024 which is almost a year it's clearly up to you to download it and use it so 
the most of the people will go to the this version which is 22.04.2 LTS because it's supported until uh, April 2020-25 it's clearly up to you to choose it uh, which version you need so for the sake of the video and uh, this is the version I downloaded so let me show you the downloading this is the downloading process I showed you the website I showed you the release notes and this is the download I'm using a VPN so it's pretty slow for me so this is the process so let me close this thing and let's go to the installation process here is the installer let's uh, double click on the installer and install installer should be loaded up in a few seconds I guess here is the installer I'm using a VPN so it's choosing it's uh, showing the different languages I'm choosing the American English there are plenty of languages available you can choose your own language about the Calamaras is a 3.3.0 alpha 2 for Lubuntu so I'm choosing the English as the language click on next and the location you don't need to provide your actual location you can give any location or you can choose it by drop down menu or clicking on the map you can customize some of the options here uh, click on next after choosing everything uh, here is the keyboard selection uh, mine is uh, generic 105 key pc it uh, automatically choose that one i'm using a dell wireless but it automatically gives that option uh, and it works properly for me so i'm going to choose english and english and the default as the uh, keyboard it works for me so i'm going to choose that one and here is the partitions you need to be very careful here uh, you need to first choose your hard disk uh, if you have multiple hard disks you'll be choosing your option there uh, by choosing the rs disk it's going to directly delete currently operating system which you're running and it will install the Lubuntu 23.04 as your main operating system this is a single boot option this is a dual boot option you can partition uh, resize your partition create a partition by choosing this option and you can dual boot operating systems uh, for example uh, the Lubuntu and the other operating system you have so that's the option here so be careful while choosing this option it's going to erase everything like a current operating system delete all the files so be careful that uh, these are the options if you want to encrypt you can encrypt by providing the password in the both both the boxes you should provide the same password in the both the boxes and the bootloader location i'll choose the master boot record uh, for vmware so that's the default i'm going to choose the default if you want to install it later uh, you can choose do not install a bootloader you can do do that later it's clearly up to you to customize so click on next after you completed everything you need to provide your username and password uh, if everything is good you will be having a tick mark if uh, it is wrong you will be having some cross mark here uh, you don't need to provide your actual name you can provide anything you want and always remember the password don't just blindly type in password and forgot that because you need to provide it after the installation so i'm for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password you need to provide you the strong password uh, because it will be safe if you provide a strong password if you can't remember the password write it down somewhere because it will be helpful uh, instead of struggling and scratching your head for the password it's uh, always better to write it down password so after everything is good you will be seeing a tick marks uh, beside the boxes click on next so here is the summary of what you choose in the previous steps and uh, here is the step uh, which will happen after clicking on install so if you want you can read it by pausing the video so after clicking on install it's going to take like a maximum of 20 minutes if you have a low end pc if you have a good pc you should be taking like a 5 to 10 minutes depends on your pc depends on the linux distro so that's the installation process after installing it's going to finish and uh, reboot you need to reboot your system and you should be having your uh, lubuntu installed on your pc if you choose the vmware it should, it should be installed on your vmware if you choose the hard disk it should be sure uh, installed on your hard disk if you choose the dual operating system you should be having like a dual operating system so that's the installation process let me close this thing so let's see what are the all uh, apps which comes pre-installed so these are all the basic apps which comes uh, default as you can see on the internet office sound and video system tools preference lxqt settings 
Let's go through all the data features like a calendar and date and time, notifications, let's clear all of these things, a clipboard, volume, disk and devices. Let's check out the desktop features like uh, wallpapers. There are not uh, plenty of wallpapers, just uh, old wallpapers, uh, which were also available in the older version. So let me choose the older wallpaper. So if you want to customize, you can customize everything on your own, like a panel, all these things. Let me go through all the pre-installed apps, not everything, just the important apps and check the version pacman 1.2.1 let's just open the important apps not every app like a feather pad and uh, we don't need a calculator on the games we don't need in let me open the library office and on the graphics we don't have anything internet uh, we opened the firefox web browser and transmission is a torrent client so we don't need to open that we already opened the uh, library office uh, sound and video, video VLC media player on the system I showed the everything so let me open the discover and preference you don't have to open everything so that's it I guess after all these things uh, let me open the system monitor and end the video so let's check all the uh, versions of the apps library office version is 7.5.2.2 which is the latest version so the library office draw and calculator impress every uh, version will be same there is will be nothing different there so let me close this thing let's check out the vlc media player version which should be 3.0.18 let's close this thing this is a feather pad 1.3.5 q pdf view version should be 0.5.0 .0. And this is the software center or a software manager and software sources. You can customize on your own if you want to do that. So if you want to install, you can install these apps. These are all the available apps. Uh, installed version will be installed apps and installed version will be right here. You can say change the settings. This is the about and the updates are right here. Just uh, 7 MB of uh, updates here. So I think we covered everything. Let me open the system monitor and uh, check the resources right now. If you remembered the beginning of the video, uh, these are all the resources right now after opening the some of the settings and applications. If you can't remember the settings uh, or the resources consuming in the beginning of the video, just put the video side by side of my Lubuntu 23.04. Uh, you should be having uh, exact numbers of uh, how much resources are consumed in the beginning and the end of the video. Uh, before the RAM was like a 550 MB I guess, now it's 870 FMB. Swap is here, uptime is here. So I think that's the end of the video. I already made another video because I'll be posting two videos daily. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.